Welcome to St. Charles Catholic Church, the Liturgy of the Word for the Sunday Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. This Sunday we celebrate the third week of our Lenten journey. Let us pray. O God, author of every mercy and of all goodness, who in fasting, prayer, and almsgiving have shown us a remedy for sin, look graciously on this confession of the loneliness that we who are bowed down by our conscience may always be lifted up by your mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, the people thirsted for water, and the people murmured against Moses and said, Why did you bring us out of Egypt to kill us and our children and the cattle with thirst? So Moses cried to the Lord, What shall I do with this people? They are almost ready to stone me. And the Lord said to Moses, Pass on before the people, taking with you some of the elders of Israel, and take in your hand the rod with which you struck the Nile, and go. Behold, I will stand before you there on the rock at Horeb, and you shall strike the rock, and water shall come out of it, that the people may drink. And Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel, and he called the name of the place Massa and Meribah because of the fault-finding of the children of Israel, and because they put the Lord to the test by saying, Is the Lord amongst us or not? The word of the Lord. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the rock who saves us. Let us come into his presence, giving thanks. Let us hail him with a song of praise. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. O oh, come, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us, for he is our God and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your forebears put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him we have obtained access to this grace in which we stand, and we rejoice in our hope of sharing the glory of God. And hope does not disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. While we were yet helpless, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. Why, why one will hardly die for a righteous man, though perhaps for a good man one will dare even to die. But God shows his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. The word of the Lord. 
Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Lord, you are truly the Savior of the world. Give me living water that I may not thirst. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus came to the city of Samaria called Sychar, near the field that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Ja Jacob's well was there. And so Jesus, wearied as he was with his journey, sat down beside the well. It was about the sixth hour. There came a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. For his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, How is it that you, a Jew, ask a drink of me, a woman of Samaria? For Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, if you knew the gift of God and who it is that is saying to you, give me a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, sir, you have nothing to draw with and the well is deep. Where do you get the living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us the well and drank from it himself and his sons and his cattle? Jesus said to her, Everyone who drinks of this water will thirst again, but whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. The water that I shall give him will become in him a spring of water, welling up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water that I may not thirst, nor come here to draw. Jesus said to her, You are right in saying, I have no husband, for you have had five husbands and he whom you have is not your husband. This you said truly. The woman said to him, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. Our fathers worshipped on the mountain, and you say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Jesus said to a woman, Believe me, the hour is coming when neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem will you worship the Father. You worship what you do not know. We worship what we know, for salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming, and now is, when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For such the Father seeks to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know that Messiah is coming, he who is called Christ. When he comes, he will show us all things, Jesus said to her, I who speak to you am he. Just then his disciples came. They marveled that he was talking with a woman, but none said, what do you wish? Or why are you talking with her? 
So the woman left her water jar and went away into the city and said to the people, Come, see a man who told me all that I ever did. Can this be the Christ? They went out of the city and came coming to him. Meanwhile, the disciples begged him, saying, Rabbi, eat. But he said to them, I have food to eat of which you do not know. So the disciples said to one another, Has anyone brought him food? Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to accomplish his work. Do you not say, there are yet four months, then comes the harvest? I tell you, lift up your eyes and see how the fields are already white for harvest. He who reaps receives wages and gathers fruit for eternal life, so that sower and reaper may rejoice together. For year The saying holds true, one sows and another reaps. I sent you to reap that for which you did not labor. Others have labored, and you have entered into their labor. Many Samaritans from the city believed in him because of the woman's testimony. He told me, all that I ever did. So when the Samaritans came to him, they asked him to stay with them. And he stayed there two days, and many more believed him because of his word. They said to the woman, it is no longer because of your words that we believe, for we have heard for ourselves and we know that this is indeed the Savior of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we gather to celebrate the third week of our Lenten journey, and as you have heard today's Gospel, a very long Gospel from John, and it speaks about the Samaritan, a Samaritan woman, And we know that Jews and Samaritan never mingled with one another. But above all, the Samaritan woman coming to the well to draw water, and she coming at a time where many people are not around. And who is at the well? Jesus is at the well. And Jesus could have shunned the woman away, but once again, looking at her, ask her for water. And as we have heard the woman, you a Jew asking me for water, normally Jews would not ask a Samaritan for water. And we, uh, in the gospel, an interaction takes place. Jesus talking with the woman, evangelizing the woman, sharing with the woman. And once again, the woman, who knows, maybe she was downcast, maybe she felt rejected, not loved. And Jesus once again uplifts her spirit and the lady going and inviting other people to come to listen to Jesus. And we see many people from that town, Samaritans, believe in Jesus. And Jesus stayed with them once again, accepting them. And they saw that Jesus was not just talking, but Jesus put his words into practice, staying with them them. And this is what you and me are also called as we continue our journey, not just to talk, but putting our words into practice, reaching out to our fellow brothers and sisters, irrespective of who they are, assisting and helping and bringing the good news, the good news of joy, of God's love for his people. Let us turn to the Lord with our prayers, asking for all we need to remain faithful to the gospel and to repent of all that takes us away from God. For the church, 
that all who follow Christ may be a source of encouragement and strength for those seeking conversion. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all those preparing to be received into the church at Easter, that they may be fully open to God's grace and love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For an end to hatred and violence in our world, and for the protection and safety of the people suffering in Ukraine and in places of conflict in Africa and the Middle East. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For ourselves during this holy season of Lent, that this may be a time of deepening conversion. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all who are sick or suffering, lonely or bereaved, that the Lord will bring healing to the sick, comfort the dying, conversion to sinners, and light to those experiencing darkness. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God our Father, in charity, fasting, and prayer, you have shown us a remedy for sin. Listen in love to our prayers and lift up our hearts with the assurance of your mercy. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Father Tony extends his gratitude for the generosity of the parish through this trying time. We respect that many parishioners are struggling financially. If you are able to contribute to the parish, please do so by EFT. And together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Direct, O Lord, we pray, the hearts of your faithful, and in your kindness grant your servants this grace, that abiding in the love of you and their neighbor, they may fulfill the whole of your commandments. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may Almighty God continue blessing all of you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our liturgy of the Word comes to a conclusion for this morning. We go in the peace and the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and click the bell icon. You will be notified of future updates.